how to connect a brand new D-Link router. In this video, we are showing you how to connect a D-Link router DIR819. Before that, let us unbox the D-Link router DIR819. D-Link router DIR819 contains router, power adapter, RJ45 or Ethernet cable. Now let us check out the router. This particular model is built with three antennas and on the top of the router there are five LED indicators. First one shows power signal and the second one is for ISP signal that is internet signal and the third one is for Wi-Fi signal and the remaining indicates the LAN connection. Coming to the back side of the router, you can see power switch, power connection which has to be connected by the power adapter, cable, yellow colored port is called as internet port, there is a WPS button, by using it we can enable or disable the Wi-Fi and the last four ports are called LAN ports through which we can connect PCs or laptops through the Ethernet cables. Let us see how to connect the router. First, plug in the power adapter and Ethernet cable in the internet port. Now, turn on the Wi-Fi router with the help of a switch. You can see LED indicators showing power signal, internet connection and Wi-Fi. Let us check out how to configure the dealing router DIR819. Before getting into it, it is a two step process. First, we need to configure the router, then we have to configure the Wi-Fi settings. Before getting into the configuration of router, note down the IP address and password mentioned at the bottom side of the router. Okay, let us check out how to configure the D-Link router DIR819. First, open the connected PC or laptop to configure the router. Go to the Google search bar and type IP address which is mentioned at the bottom side of the router. Hitting enter, you will be directed to the D-Link login window. Here in the D-Link login window, username is default that is admin and for the first time we are logging in. So there is no need to enter the password. Just click the login button. Upon clicking the login button, you will be directed to the status window which displays the details of the router like manufacturer name, LAN configuration, WAN configuration. After checking the details in the status window, now go to the setup window. Upon clicking the setup button, you will be directed to the setup window which contains different options. Upon selecting the internet setup option, you will be directed to the WAN interface window. In the WAN interface window, you need to select WAN access type that is PPPOE because it enables high security and easy internet access. Now coming to the username, here in the username you need to provide the username which you have used for the internet service provider. Password is your choice, you can choose a password of your own choice. Next, service name is optional and the remaining options are inbuilt so click apply changes button which is present at the, at the bottom of the setup window. Now let us check out the second process that is how to configure Wi-Fi. For that, select wireless menu in the wireless network window. Here in the wireless network window, enable SSID broadcast by clicking on it. Now name the SSID by choosing a name. This name will be displayed on Wi-Fi. Coming to mode, select 802.11b or g or n because these are the advanced version which will support high secure and easy internet access. Channel enables you to restrict the connected devices so you can select or choose according to your convenience. Next bandwidth. Bandwidth is auto, no need to touch that. After that security options. In security options there are different options. First one is none. None is nothing but public network that is anybody can access your Wi-Fi 
and the remaining or password protected options so select the last one because it is the advanced version after selecting the last option now enter the password of your choice in the pre shared key and click apply upon clicking apply now your wi-fi router is successfully configured you can enjoy the wireless internet in this way we can configure a dealing wi-fi router thank you for watching k fortune please like share and subscribe